What is going on everybody? My name is Josh and this is Copycat Cocktails. This week I was challenged by our good friend Cam from Cam Mac Adventures to create the Pina Colava with some of his direction. Uh, so that if it doesn't work out, I'm going to blame it on him. <laughs> Actually, in all fairness, this is the second time I've made this drink. All right, so um, this week, the pina colada mix, or this pina colada mix, is actually pretty easy to do, except for a really pain in the butt thing, which is a raspberry puree. And the thing about the raspberry puree is that, number one, I couldn't find it anywhere. Total Wine didn't carry it. Walmart didn't carry it. Publix didn't carry it. Um, and I could order it on Amazon, but I didn't have patience to wait a day. So I decided to make my own. Um, and it was actually pretty simple. Um, I made it inside of a Ninja and I used one cup of raspberries with a quarter cup of sugar, um, about two or three ounces of simple syrup and then added some water. And the thing about it, whenever you make this at home, it's really gonna be kind of playing to um, your tastes and likes. So sweeten it up a little bit more, sweeten it up a little bit less. And also don't forget to add some lemon juice um, that just kind of helps to add a little bit more of a kind of like a sourness to it. But this turned out really well. I really, really like it. And I use about a half ounce of lemon juice. It was about a half a lemon. So um, I'm going to set it aside. We're not going to need it right this second. But what we are going to need uh, is our jigger to measure out. And we're going to do everything inside of this Ninja because it's going to get blended up. So for today, we're gonna to be needing raspberry rum, which we've got Bacardi, and then some pina colada mix, your raspberry puree, and a 151 of your choosing to float on top. I'm gonna to start by measuring out four ounces of our pina colada mix. All right, so we've got um, four ounces of our mix. Next, we're gonna be measuring out our Bacardi raspberry. The recipe calls for an ounce and a half, and I made it last time with an ounce and a half. I'm gonna try it with two ounces. I wanna get like the full amount of alcohol in there. I think what really matters here is that after this all gets blended, um, that I pour it correctly. Now that we've got our, basically our pina colada and our, and our Bacardi raspberry in here, we're gonna add the ice and we're just gonna blend this up. The raspberry is gonna come in part later. I'm gonna take the smaller cup of my shaker tins and fill it clear to the top with ice. And I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I blend this very, very smooth. Um, I think last time I tried it, I didn't get it smooth enough. All right, so I think we've got a pretty smooth blend on that now, much smoother than what it was the first time. Now comes into part is the raspberry and our sponsor for today, just kidding, not a sponsor. Um, but a really great restaurant, if you guys wanna go check it out, is Pat O'Brien's. Um, they didn't give us this glass. We paid for it when we got our hurricanes. You can go check out our dining room. And uh, if you go there and get a hurricane, you can get this glass. So I'm gonna do about a half an inch of this raspberry puree in here. That's way more than half an inch. This might be where I messed up last time. I, maybe I put in too much raspberry, but we'll see. All right. Now, here is the trick to this. I messed it up the first time. We're gonna see if we can get it right this time. You have to tilt this glass and spin it while pouring at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really kind of twist it down like this. And I'm gonna do this and as I'm gonna twist it. So here we go. We're gonna try this again. Oh, it didn't work again. Dang it. Yeah, it did a little bit on this side. It didn't work again. So basically, when you're spinning the glass and as you're pouring, it's kind of trying to like create some swirls that are going up the glass. Unfortunately, I failed for the second time. I am so sorry, Cam, but I'm not a professional bartender. Shun the non-believer. All right, now the next thing that you can do with this is top this off with a little bit of 151. Oh, I've never tried this before. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is actually how you do this, but we're about to find out. Is that enough? <laughs> I don't want to make it too strong. So uh, if you guys saw that, it's really cool. So it just pours down and then when it hits, when it hits the bottom here, it allows it to, to branch out in the surface area. All right, and I'm gonna just garnish this with a little orange. I don't have any pineapple, I forgot to get it, so. Okay, cool. 
So it looks nothing like what it's supposed to. But I'm sure it's still pretty good. As if I couldn't find the smallest straw ever. <laughs> it doesn't even fit. Wow, that is quite good. It's very good, actually. Nice blend of the raspberry with that pina colada mix. And um, I don't think it really overpowering with the two ounces of the Bacardi raspberry. So still pretty smooth, uh, still pretty light. And not too, it, it does have a little bit of a sweet and sourness to it, which I do like. So again, a really great drink for the summertime. It's starting to get into the hot months. Um, if you've got a pool or you're having some friends over, um, a great thing just to have and hang out outside, make some pina colada mixes. If you don't have the, you know, other than the raspberry puree, which is kind of a pain, but. All right, now we're gonna move on to our second drink, which is the Bahama Mama. Ugh. All right. Now we should be all set for the Bahama Mama. So uh, this Bahama Mama going kind of with some of these pole side drinks is pretty good. I love a good Bahama Mama every so often. We're gonna need some coconut rum, some white rum, the cream de banana cocktail. Uh, we're gonna need some grenadine and some Myers dark rum, which we're just gonna float on the top. Um, the grenadine we're actually gonna miss, mix with our pog juice. So we're gonna do a 50-50 of orange and pineapple juice. So I got my orange juicer right here. I'm just gonna get some oranges. Hopefully we're not gonna go through a whole bag of oranges today. We only need two ounces, basically, of these oranges. Now, something to note, even whenever you're using this type of orange juicer, you can still get some pulp in there. So if you don't wanna have any pulp in your final product, whenever you go to pour this out, you can just strain it through the little like a uh, mixologist bartender strainer. There's a technical term, I don't remember what it is. And that's what I'm gonna do today, just to make sure that we don't have any pulp in there. All right, so I got my fine mesh strainer. All right, so we've got two ounces of our OJ. We're gonna measure out two ounces of pineapple juice. A couple of weeks ago, we made the Lapu Lapu and I saved a lot of the actual fruit and made a kind of a puree, but kind of a pineapple juice. Um, we're all out of that. I'm actually just gonna use canned pineapple juice today. The other thing about that too is that using that pineapple that I had saved over would be a little bit thick uh, just because we didn't, number one, strain it. And we didn't like really try to blend it up. So pineapple juice it is today. So two ounces of pineapple juice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add grenadine here just to get this orange color, yellowish color, more of that red. So it's just really just kind of adding it till we get the right color. All right, so I think we got about the right color in there. A little bit more of a red. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start measuring out all of the alcohol that's gonna be going into this. We're gonna start out with Bacardi. We're gonna go with a half ounce of Bacardi white rum. Next, we're gonna do the cream de banana cocktail mixer. Now this does have alcohol in it, just so that you guys are aware, we're gonna do a half ounce of this as well. We're gonna do a half ounce of the coconut rum. Now again, you guys can really use any kind of brand that you want, any type of white rum, any type of the cream de banana, any type of coconut rum. All right, so we've got basically all of our alcohol in there that we need. So what we're gonna do now is uh, add some ice, shake this baby up, pour it into our glass. Oh man, and it smells so good right now. That banana smells amazing. So I thought about straining it just to make sure that we got um, most of the ice out, but we're just gonna pour it and we're gonna see, should. Fill the glass. Look at that. Pretty darn cool. Bam, look at that, huh? Bahama Mama. Oh boy. A little bit of a, like a frothy head on there, almost like a beer. Nice little orange consistency. It's probably not as red. Might be a little bit darker on the red. We could have added a little bit, maybe more grenadine. Um, it also depends on the grenadine that you're using. This syrup is a lighter red. It's not that real dark kind of, uh, I think the brand is like the Rose brand. Um, that tends to be very, I won't say very dark, but it's more red. So, cheers. I think the foaminess is coming from the creme de banana. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to top this with Myers Dark Rum, but it is, uh, it's really good already. All right, so we're gonna top this off. I'm gonna try and do a really cool mixology pour here. Boom! 
yeah! That's awesome. I'm so pumped. So pumped. Look at that. I got a nice layer in there. <laughs> Basically what you're doing is you are pouring over the spoon. The spoon kind of takes away from breaking a lot of that surface tension. I'm pretty sure. Could be totally making this stuff up. What that allows it to do by um, not totally just breaking that surface tension, it doesn't just sink right to the bottom. Um, the other thing too is that this might be super sweet, loaded with a lot of sugar in here. Um, so this is going to sit and this is going to help with the float. Um, if you just regularly poured it, it probably wouldn't sit like this. It would just go down in and it would start to mix with the drink already. So we now have a nice rum float at the top. You've got this nice like white, um, almost like banana cream at the top, a little orange. It's very potent now though. You know how I know? Cause I can smell it. I don't like that rum float on the top. That is really, really good though. I really like it. Um, a great, great summer drink. Uh, I know whenever we cruise, this is something that we get a lot, especially on Disney. They always have a Bahama Mama special. Oh my gosh, it's such a great drink. It's super easy to make. It, it does have um, a couple of ingredients, but you don't really have to, you know, make a raspberry puree or anything like that, like we had to do with the pina colada. Awesome. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Copycat Cocktails. Thank you to Cam for a uh, sh little shout out and the little challenge. Um, as you can see now, because uh, this is the first drink we made, it's totally blended together as it has begun to melt. If you guys enjoy this, please give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment and let us know what you might like to see next. If there's something from around Walt Disney World um, that we haven't tried yet, we do have some other special things that are coming. And another shout out to Cam. Uh, go check him out. He is a actual real licensed bartender. So he really actually knows what he's doing. I'm just winging it. We're winging it. 100% of the time. <laughs>